everyone, you're watching X Hit with me, Rebecca Louise. Now, everyone's been asking for you, and I'm so excited to bring it to you today. It's the Candice Swain Pole Workout. Yes, another one of Victoria's Secret series. So, we're going to be working our lower body, getting some good abs, legs, and of course, the booty. So, taking it down. Uh, just to introduce you, this is my new assistant. This is Harvey. He's a, another one of my dogs. And of course, we have got the resident Alfie. So, Bringing it down, we're going to start up with reverse crunches, okay? And we've got a minute of these. So just bringing your knees into your chest. Now, Harvey, you've got to stay there. You're in the perfect position. That's it. Make sure you have got a nice open space in your living room. You can put a mat down. If you don't have a mat, your carpet is just great. Maybe if you've got a rug at home, just to support that lower back just a little bit. Give you a little bit of cushioning. Oh, how's that treat going, Harvey? He seems to be enjoying that. It was actually Alfie's treat, but he's been summoned to the chair, so he's not going to get it right now. Okay, you can really feel it in those quads and, of course, those abs. Now we're going to work in our abs to begin with, then we're going to take it down to our legs and finish with our butt. Candice would be proud. Okay, let's keep it going. We're gonna change over. And we're gonna give it some flutter kicks, okay? So I want you to lie down flat, put your legs up, and we're just gonna go up and down for 30 seconds. Okay, you probably wanna be about like five, 10 inches off the floor, or if you've got a dog, just enough so you don't hit him. <laughs> okay, let's keep it going. You should really be feeling it in those quads. How you doing, Alfie? Can you feel it in those quads? He's too tired. Okay, keep it going, that's it. Squeeze those abs. We're gonna change onto those scissor kicks. Oh, it'd be quite a nice rest there, actually, for a second. And let's change onto those scissor kicks, okay? If you need to, you can bring them up higher. And that's if your back tends to come off the floor like this. We don't wanna arch it. We wanna keep it nice and flat on the floor. If you can take it down, keep trying to test with yourself. Bring it down and then bring it back up again. We want to make sure that we're feeling it in the abs and not the lower back. Okay, we're going to take it onto bicycles, okay? And we have a minute of those. Oh, you can feel it in those quads. Okay, ready to swap? Let's go. So bring it up again. You want to be in that V position. And we're just going to put the opposite elbow to opposite knee. Oh, I can feel it in my quads. Now, some of you knew I did actually do the marathon a few days ago. It was tough, but I made it. You can still feel it in those quads though. Whew. Okay, let's keep it going. We've got two more exercises for those abs. Oh, come on, squeeze. Harvey's almost getting through his treat. I wonder where he's gonna go next. Okay, let's hit, keep squeezing. Okay, we're almost there. That's it, really try and touch the elbow to the opposite knee. Oh, come on, squeeze. I know it hurts, but pain is good. Okay, we need to take it into those side oblique crunches. So, I want you to bring it down to the ground. Sort of get yourself in a line and then point your knees out to the side and then we're just gonna crunch up for 30 seconds. So, these are working our oblique muscles. If you're not sure what that means, that's these muscles down the side. How's your treat, Harvey? I can't see him, but I can hear him. I can hear him munching away. That's it, keep it going. We're gonna swap onto the other side, because remember, every single time you do one side of your body, you need to make sure that you do the other side to the, we're always even, okay? So let's switch over to that other side, and crunch. Whew. Now, Harvey's a recent addition to the family. I got him about two weeks ago from a rescue centre. And I went down there just to have a look, and I ended up coming back with Harvey. Whew. I tell you what, I'd never buy a dog again. I'd always rescue. So many poor little doggies that need homes. And look how pretty Harvey is. Okay, we're almost finished with our abs. You ready to move on to our legs? Let's go. You're going to stay down on the ground. Just putting your shoulder, your elbow underneath your shoulder. 
and we're just going to lift up and down for 30 seconds, okay? So obviously we've got it on this side and then we're going to switch to the other side. Now, my foot often cramps when I'm doing this exercise, so just try and relax that foot. I always try and point it because it does finish the line off, but it gives me cramp. How are you doing, Hub? He's not interested. He's enjoying his treat far too much. And you should be getting your heart rate up now. You should be feeling it in those legs. Breathing. Let's switch over to the other side. How are you doing, Harvey? That's it. That's it. Really, every time you lift up, just thinking about squeezing that glute and the legs, okay? So this is a great workout that you can do in front of the TV. It doesn't really take much concentration. Just look forward, watch your TV, and give it some leg lifts. That's it. Great job, everyone. Let's keep it going. You've already done the abs and you've only got the legs and the booty to go. Okay, we're going to swatch back. Swatch back? That's an interesting word. Switch back onto the other side right away. And we're going to take it for 30 seconds. We're going to go anti clockwise first because for some reason my leg just tends to be that. Okay, so you've just got 30 seconds. Take it nice and slowly. So drawing a circle with your toe. Make sure that you are pulling in up here. We don't want any slouching. <sighs> Chest up. Squeezing those glutes. Ooh, I can really feel it. Okay, we're going to take it clockwise. Are you ready? Steady. Go. That's it. Take it around the other way. Now, when you start to really feel the burn in your leg, that's when it's really working. <sighs> so I know it hurts right now. But this is just thinking about your muscles building and toning up. This is the bit that's going to really help you. Some people, when they're doing exercise, they tend to stop when it hurts. But it's the pain that's going to build those muscles. Oh, and you can feel it. The burn feels good. Getting slight cramp in my foot, so just going to flex it. Okay, let's turn on to the other side. So you've got a minute. We're going to go anti-clockwise first. And then clockwise, or whichever way you fancy. Doesn't really make much difference. Doesn't make any difference, in fact. That's it, remember pulling that tummy. How's your treat doing, Harvey? Harvey, say hi. Oh, no. Still, still munching on that treat. It's okay, though, because he's going to get lots of exercise later. Need to wear him out so he doesn't wake me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, are you ready to take it back round the other way? Okay, I'm going to go clockwise. That's it, squeeze those glutes, pull the tummy in. It's getting nice and warm in here. Feel my heart rate up. Remember to have some water close by too, so anytime you just need to take a quick sip. I have a funny story actually, when I was running the marathon, I was trying to get water in and I was running like this and it was going anywhere but in my mouth. Okay, we've got two more exercises left on the legs. Okay, so coming onto your tummy. Just your head out in front of you. If you've got a pillow, then you can just nicely rest your head there. We're going to bring both legs in. We're going to lift up to the ceiling and take it down. So we've got 30 seconds. You just want to lift your head slightly off the ground. Okay, so bring those legs both in together and extend one up at a time. Squeeze those glutes. I've just got my hands just in front of my shoulders. Just give me some support. Okay, can you feel it now, guys? Oh, the burn feels good. That's it, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those legs. Okay, and we've got your last leg exercise. We're gonna take it with the right leg first. We're just gonna extend the leg up to the ceiling, okay? So just little pulses. Again, if your foot tends to cramp, just give it a wiggle. Try not to point it. And then you want your hands directly underneath your shoulders. This is really good for your glutes. You're going to be working your hamstrings too. And you're going to be doing a little bit on your shoulders as well. So make sure you pull that tummy in. We don't want to arch our back. Okay, you ready to swap onto the other side? I think Harvey's almost finished with this treat as well. We've almost done with the legs. Harvey's almost done with this treat. And Alfie normally is asleep. That's it, just raise your leg up to the ceiling, just little pulses. It doesn't have to be a big movement, just as long as you feel it. And if you're not feeling it, just think about flex, feeling and squeezing those glute muscles. It's going to engage those muscles 
and get you toned up even quicker. Okay, we're almost there with the legs. Release it down, same time that Harvey's finished his treat. That's perfect time. Okay, we're gonna take it onto our legs. Harvey, as you can see, has had enough. He's gonna go and have a little sleep. He's been eating his treat. We're gonna take it down into a squat and then we're gonna do a lateral leg raise to the side, okay? So we're gonna do one side at a time. I'm gonna start with my left leg. We've got 30 seconds on each side. Now if you're going down into that squat, make sure your toes aren't, your knees aren't over your toes, sorry. And just think about sitting down in a chair when you're squatting. Now, you're gonna be improving your balance as well. So make sure you're engaging your core. It's gonna give you some support. Isn't it, Harvey? What do you think of what mummy's doing? It looks funny, doesn't it? Okay, let's turn over to the other side. So squatting down, lift that leg up as you raise. That's it, squeeze. Come on, squeeze as you come up, feel it in the glutes. Engage that tummy to help you with your balance. That's it, just think about sitting down into a chair. You want the weight on the heels of your foot. That's it, come on, keep it going. We're on to our legs now. You've worked out your abs. And it's now the leg time, okay? One more. Okay, your next exercise, working those legs again. We're gonna take it into a back lunge and then pulling the leg through to a high knee. So make sure you swap over legs so you're giving each one a break. If you need to, just focus on something right in front of you. It's gonna help with the balance. That's it, just nice, slow and controlled. We've got 30 seconds on each side. That's it, as you come to the top, squeeze. Whew, well this has been a great Victoria's Secret workout. Whew, we really have been working our lower body and getting a body like candies. Whew, okay, let's switch over to the other leg. Should be feeling the burn. Let's work it all the way to the end. Right, you can see I lost my balance there. So let's just try and focus forwards. Again, when you're doing this lunge, you wanna make sure that that knee isn't over the toe. Great job, everyone. I promise you, we're almost at the end of the workout. You do this workout every day, you really are gonna see the benefits. Make sure you also check out the rest of Victoria's Secrets workouts, we've got loads for you. Okay, back down to the floor. Take some fluids on board if you need to. We're gonna go into a bridge. I want you to put this leg straight up into the air, okay? Depending on how flexible you are, it might be here, but try and get it as high as you can. And we're just gonna go up and down. Just making sure that our butt doesn't touch the ground. And just little pulses, okay? We've got 30 seconds on each side. And then, we've just got one more exercise left. Keep it going. It feels good, everyone. Okay, you ready to turn it over to the other side? Right, Alfie, you ready for the other leg? <laughs> okay, let's switch it over now. Putting that leg up to the ceiling and just up and down, okay? If you need to, you can put your arms out to the side. That sometimes helps with your balance. But just remember, it's just a nice and controlled movement. Up and down, nice and gently. Feel about squeezing those glutes each time you go up. Come on guys, push it all the way. We don't want to give up now. We've just got one more exercise left. That's it, try and lift that leg and release. Okay, jump back up. We've got 30 seconds left to go. Harvey's already prepared in the right position. And we're gonna come down and we're gonna do like hip thrusts, okay? So you wanna be further off away. You're gonna come down and you're just gonna push your pelvis up to the ceiling, okay? So I'm about a foot and a half away. We've got 30 seconds. Come on, Harvey, count with me. That's it, make sure that your butt doesn't hit the ground. Just wanna be an inch or two off. And then every time you come up, squeeze those glutes. Another great one you can do when you're watching the TV. Come on guys, less than five seconds to go. Squeeze. Come on, give me one more. And relax. Whew. Okay, get some fluids on board. Gently come up to standing. And there you go, you've had your whole candy swan pool workout. Wasn't that awesome? Great job, buddy. 
High five, they did a great job. High five, Alfie. Yep. <laughs> Remember, X Hit has got plenty more Victoria's Secrets workouts for you, along with other stuff too. So make sure you hit this button. It's going to send you our fantastic newsletter. Lots of exciting things that are coming up. Subscribe to the channel. My name's Rebecca Louise. If you've got any questions or queries, then the best way to contact me is on Twitter at The Model Pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Thanks for working out with me today, guys, and make sure you visit us again soon.